Hey, Myers Mathematics, Mr. Kyle here, and let's just jump right into it. So today I want to talk about uh, the opposite of PEMDAS. It's called SAD MEP, a MEP that's SAD. So this is uh, a method that um, I, I never really saw anybody using when I was in school, uh, and then when I became a teacher, I kind of just created it. Um, I'm sure other people use this as well, so I don't claim to be the original person to come up with this. But this is a really easy way to solve any equation. Okay, so I'm just going to walk you through it. So in order to go over SAD MEP, we have to first uh, go over PEMDAS, right? And some people uh, like to call it GEMDAS um, because that way the G stands for grouping because parentheses is just one kind of grouping. So if you call it GEMDAS, it's fine. It doesn't really matter what you call it too much. Um, but PEMDAS or uh, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, right? So that stands for parentheses, parentheses, exponents, uh, multiplication, multiplication, uh, division. Oh, <laughs> I almost spelled dividido, which would be Spanish for to divide by division addition and subtraction mm. subtraction there we go okay so that's pemdas and that's the order of operations and basically it's for um like an expression right so if i have an expression an expression or um, one side of the equation because an expression is just a bunch of things that don't have an equal sign and you can maybe add some of them up or maybe not if you have like x plus y plus z because um, then you wouldn't be able to add anything because you don't know what x y and z are um, but if you have an equation then the left hand side and the right hand side are both expressions it's just that when you put the equal sign in there it becomes an equation so here we're going to talk about like just an expression so let's do an example of an expression real quick so let's say i've got um, two times three plus four and we'll square it and add one for good measure all right so pim dos pim Das. Okay, and then inside of our parentheses, we have a whole nother set because inside of any parentheses or grouping, you can have a whole nother set of additions or multiplications or what have you. So there's a whole nother PEMDAS. PEM, did I? Yeah, okay. I'm just writing it smaller. PEMDAS. So really the first step here is inside the parentheses, we can add the three and the four. So add three and four, you get seven. And that was addition inside the parentheses. So now we're done with, with the P there, with the P and PEMDAS. So then um, I'm just gonna carry everything over here. So two, two, one, okay. And then now I'm, that I'm done with the P and PEMDAS, I go on to the E. I do have um, some exponents. I've got a little two, so that's 49. And then a two here plus one. Oh, and let me go ahead and circle it. I was using exponents, so that's done now. Uh, and then two times forty-nine, right? So that's going to be uh, just shy of a hundred, so ninety-eight. And then plus one, so that was multiplication. And then last up, we have addition, right? So we skip division because there was no division, right? There's no division. Um, and then, of course, there's no subtraction either, but we have to add 98 and 1 to get 99. And there we go. All right, so that's how you use PEMDAS. All right, so a little refresher. Um, if you already know how to use PEMDAS, then, you know, stick with me here. Uh, and then, now that we know uh, how to use PEMDAS, if you didn't already, we have the opposite. So if I spell PEMDAS backwards, S A D sad m e p map 
Um, and then just like, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. There's all kinds of little fun ways you can remember Sad Map. Uh, one of my favorites is uh, Sam and Dean made exploding pineapples. Yeah, or you can come up with your own. It's whatever you want. Um, but I'm not going to tell you what the, the S-A-D-M-E-P stand for. They stand for all the same things as what they did before. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, all that. Um, but inside of a parenthesis, just like with PEMDAS, inside of a parenthesis, you could have a whole other SAD map. SAD map. And then it would go from there, right? Just like with with this guy over here, right? So like inside of that parenthesis, I could have a whole other parenthesis as well. So let's look at an example. Um, and then of course, sad map. This is for this is for equations. So this is when you're when you're you're doing something. I'm supposed to say something. Just kind of blended the M there. Doing something on both keyword both sides of an equation. So anytime I'm doing something to both sides of an equation, that's when I'm using sad map. So let's look at an example. All right, so let's say I have uh, 3x squared plus 1 equals uh, 13. All right. Oh, and let's put my sad map over here. Sad map. All right. So this example, um, there's no simplifying to do. Sometimes in an equation, before you solve, they're simplifying. You want to simplify before you solve. It just makes your life easier. Um, but in this case, there's nothing to simplify um, because I can't multiply 3 by x. I can't square x because I don't know what x is. Um, and of course, I can't add 1 to any of that because, again, I don't know what x is. Uh, and then 13 is by itself on the right-hand side. So it has nobody to play with over there. So the first thing we try to do with sad map is look for subtraction. And we can. We can subtract 1. On both sides, we can't subtract uh, a three, um, right? This this three right here, because it's connected to the x squared, right? Now we could, in theory, subtract three x squared from both sides, but it really wouldn't help us because we're trying to get x. So we want to get rid of all the other numbers that are around the x, the three, the two, and the one. So starting with the one, because I'm going to subtract first. So I subtract. One goes away. 3x squared equals 12. Okay. Now, um, I can't add anything, right? So I can't add anything. Move on to division. So I can divide. I can divide the 3 because the 3 is being multiplied by the x. So I'm going to do opposite operations or I'm going to do the, the uh, other side of whatever it is. So opposite of multiply is divide. Opposite of add is subtract, right? And that's why I subtracted 1 from both sides. So those cancel, and I have x squared equals 4. So that was division, which I've done now. And now, um, well, I'm not going to multiply, because there's nothing to multiply. I can't get rid of the 2 by multiplying it out. But I can take the square root, which is considered an exponent. So I take the square root, and I have x equals 2. Right, the square root of 4 is 2. But um, this thing happens whenever I take a square root of a square number. Um, and if you're just starting to solve equations, then you don't need to know this just yet. But whenever you square root um, a number in an equation, you actually have two answers. Okay, so that might be a kind of a new thing for you watching this if you're just starting to learn equations. Um, but there's actually two answers or negative two. And the reason why is because if I square negative two, what I'm saying is negative 2 times itself, right? So negative 2 times negative 2, which is positive 4. So that's why there's two answers there. All right. Um, all right. So that was sad mep in action. Now let's look at one final example. And this final example is going to have a little bit of both in it. All right. So let's, let's uh, make something up here. I actually found something that has a little bit of everything in here already, so I'm going to just write it down for my notes here. I've got 3 in parentheses x squared plus 2 uh, minus x squared equals 18 squared over 8 plus 1 plus 2. 
Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and just knock this thing out. Okay, so PIMDOS and SADMAP in action. Just the whole dealio here. PIMDOS and SAD map it doesn't even all fit in there. Scroll up just a little bit here. PIMDOS and SADMAP. Okay, so we are going to need to go inside of a parentheses in a way. And this is the reason why um, I don't hate people that use GEMDOS instead of PIMDOS. Um, I actually probably would call it GEMDOS if I wasn't uh, brainwashed all throughout school to call it PIMDOS. Um, but there's actually a grouping here. So right here, this here, and this here, whenever you have this, this fraction go over the whole thing, it kind of creates a grouping of the top and a grouping of the bottom without really needing to use a parentheses, but I'm showing you with a parentheses so you can see what's going on here. So there's actually a grouping there. There's technically a grouping here as well. This is grouping, um, but I can't add x squared and 2, so there's nothing I can really do there. But over here I can with this and with this. So inside of the, the PEMDAS here, inside of the PEMDAS, P-E-M-D-A-S, and I'm going to use one uh, extra PEMDAS for both the top and the bottom, even though they would kind of be their own grouping, um, just to make things a little faster here. So let's go ahead and, and start knocking this out. 18 squared, right? And you can use a calculator if you want, or um, I have a little trick, and I will be making a video on this uh, probably the next video I make will be on how to use this little square trick. But basically you take the 18, you round it to the nearest um, uh, tens place. Uh, and then you, whatever you did to round, whatever you would have had to have add or subtract, you do the opposite. So then I get 16. Uh, and then I would uh, multiply those two numbers, so 320. Uh, and then add the square of the difference, which would be 4. So that turns into 324. So 18 squared is 324. That goes here. All right. So then that was the E inside of the PEMDAS that I just did. No parentheses to deal with inside of a parentheses. I don't have a parentheses inside of a parentheses, so I don't have to deal with that. Um, multiply. I don't need to multiply anything inside the parentheses. I just have this 8 plus 1 left. So I'm going to just cross that, cross that. I have addition. 8 plus 1 is 9. So cross that out and no subtraction. All right, so that's what I get there. Um, and then instead of doing 324 divided by nine, well, I guess I could do it in my head or I could just look at my notes because I did the whole thing already, kind of cheated a little bit. Well, I mean, I just kind of did it beforehand. Um, so I get 36 when I divide 324 by nine, but if you didn't already have the answer for you, um, you could just do some long division, nine goes into 32 three times, uh, right, and then just go from there. So it goes in uh, 36, and that'll be my, my next thing that I do. But kind of jumping the gun, so sorry. Hold on. Let's go ahead and write the rest of our stuff here. So 3x squared plus 2 minus x squared equals that plus 2. Okay. So um, we're done with our parentheses. We're done with our parentheses. There's nothing we can do with the x squared plus 2, like I said. So that's, that's done. Um... There's no exponents besides x squared, but we can't do anything with x squared, so nothing there. Um, there is some multiplying we can do, though. Um, distributing is multiplying, right? So distributing would fall under multiplying. Um, so I'm going to multiply 3 by x squared. I get 3x squared. 3 times 2 is 6, so that's plus 6. Um, and then that's it for the multiplying. Now, um, you can do multiplying and division at the same time because they're kind of the same thing. Um, but I'm just going to go step by step here just to keep things even. All right, so that was the multiply step. And then I'm going to do th the divide step now. So I'm going to keep everything else the same. And I already told you that I was looking at my notes and I saw that the answer was 36 for that. But you could always divide it by hand if you needed to. Um, and then, of course, if you're able to use a calculator, go for it, you know. All right, so I just divided. Divide step done. Uh, let's see, can I add anything? Yes, I can. So I'm going to switch back to black over here. 36 plus 2, 38. All right, 3x squared plus 6 minus x squared. Um, and actually, I have something I can subtract, too. I can subtract 
um, 3x squared and x squared. They're like terms, right? So that's 1x squared. 3 minus 1 is 2, so that's 2x squared plus 6 equals 38. Whew. All right. Oh, and then, by the way, there's a little barrier here, right? Because sad map is part of solving, not simplifying. So we're done simplifying. I cannot multiply 2 by x. So I don't know what x is. And then I also can't square x because I don't know what x is. And then, of course, I can't take all of that and add 6 to it. And 38 is by itself. So I'm ready to solve. There we go. Now, um, so so you can start solving um, way back from where we started. You can. It's possible, um, but it just makes things more difficult when you don't go in order of PEMDAS and SADMAP, right? So I just wanted to put a little disclaimer out there for anybody who's like, oh, but you don't have to do it that way. Well, you don't, but this is the way you want to do it if you want to get the answer right every time, all right? So we're going to go straight into solving. So we look for subtraction. We can subtract 6 on both sides. So then I have 2x squared equals 32. Uh, wow, I had a blank there. Ooh, 8 minus 6, Kyle, come on. All right, so then I go, oh, wait, let's mark that off. So that was the subtraction in SADMAP. Um, nothing to add on both sides. And then I can divide my 2. So I'm going to divide my 2. Divide by 2 on both sides. All right, so that goes away. x squared equals 16. And then finally, oh, I keep forgetting to cross out the division. So no division. And then finally, I'm going to do the exponent. So there's no multiplication, no multiplication, no parentheses. But there is that exponent. I'm going to take the square root, take the square root. And if you were paying attention earlier, I said that um, anytime you take a square root when you're solving, you have to do plus or minus. Here's another way you can write this. It's not just 4, it's also negative 4. So you could put plus, minus, 4, like that. And that means the answer could be 4 or negative 4. It's another way to write the answer. All right, so that is it for today. That's how you use PEMDAS with SADMEP and SADMEP in order to solve any equation easily. I hope this video was helpful. Um, if it was, give it a like uh, and subscribe to see future videos like how to square things really easily because I didn't really explain that in detail. I kind of just did it. Uh, and then, of course, um, I have on my website a free PDF uh, that you can go and grab anytime. Um, I'm working out, um, I have a little bit of uh, kinks in the, the website design right now with getting the emails to send automatically. Um, so still working on that. But uh, if you go in and you subscribe with your email, I will get your free PDF guide to you um, once I work that out in the next uh, week, within the next week. Um, all right. So, and by the way, that PDF guide, it's five math mistakes everyone makes and how to avoid them. It's five uh, things or mistakes that people make when they're doing math problems um, that everyone does. And it pretty much sums up every kind of mistake that you can make uh, into five different categories and, and a, a description of how to avoid it, an example of what I'm talking about. Uh, and then, of course, in the guide, uh, instead of reading it every single time, you can kind of just go back to it and just look at the solution. Because I put this, the problem uh, and then the solution right under it. And then I explain kind of what the solution means underneath that. So uh, you can go grab that at Mr. Myers, or sorry, uh, MyersMathematics.com. And till next time.